Hi everyone, welcome back to Shipyard. If you are wondering what you're being welcome back to, then part one is linked in the description. We are building ships. Marty is still in the process of making his. I finally finished one that's just out to sea over there, and I earned 15 points for it. So if we ended the game now, I'd be doing pretty well. I'd be pretty happy with that. It's Marty's turn though. What's he going to do? He is... How is he still making this ship? He doesn't care how big it is. He wants to use tons of tiles if possible, or have tons of lifeboats, or tons of employees. Speaking of employees, that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to grab another one, so the rundown marker moves one more space. So once he's got available, he's got two level two traders. Not even an option. He can pay to move it further, of course, but this one here, what's the name of it? The Accountant. This lets him, in the future, when he gets equipment or crew from those rondelles, he can move them one or two free spaces with the normal actions. And so that's another two points for that. It's not, you know, the giddy heights of 18 points for having 22 tiles on your ship, but, uh, you know, that's, that's more about just making huge ships and probably not as meticulously filling them with stuff. So why is, why is this guy here? I took, I took take ship parts as my action, didn't I? He should be on there. So it's my turn now. He goes in the front there. And so what do I want to do? I can't do anything that earns me money at all. I could get a new canal piece since now, you know, my, my ship is pointing out, you know, if I want a ship in the future, I've only got one more space to move. I could get commodities because, you know, I'm looking a little bit bare here, aren't I? I can't take crew again, which is a little bit annoying because I want, I want my free businessmen. But we're, we're kind of back to basics, aren't we? So I think I'm just going to take a canal piece. I care about lanterns, so that would be an okay piece for me. I think I'm just going to take this one and let's pop it there. So that as the as the ship continues, if I have it going along, then it's it's OK as a. As a path, isn't it? I can get points for the lanterns here, points for if I've traveled a lot, one, two, three, four, five spaces. So I want my next ship to have a speed of five, at least, hopefully, so that I can get that in one nice big go. And, you know, if we get fast ships, maybe this will be worth more points than the businessman. We'll see how it goes. Marty comes off the equipment tile and so he could get himself a wagon. Not so attractive. I think he is going to get himself some more crew. Is he? He hasn't got space for crew. He's waiting for the ship parts to become available, really. He could get himself a wagon. It's a one of everything wagon. So he could get, uh, he could exchange it for some stuff in a future turn. He can't go on exchange because he hasn't got anything to exchange. Or he could get himself just a new captain. And the captain could go on here as crew, could be saved for a future ship. He's worth an extra point if it goes on this ship. No, he's going to get himself a wagon, I think. And he is just going to go for the free one and just take the one that's got one of each. My turn, and so I think, sorry Marty, oh he didn't want to go on there anyway did he, he changed his mind, he could have gone on there, but didn't. So I could get stuff, but I could wait a little bit for Marty to do his train and then steel would be worth more if I want money for it because I am a little bit skint right now. So I'm going to get, you know, my, my ship at the moment consists of one piece and a businessman. It's not going to get very far, especially without a bow and a stern, but even more so without a captain. So let's get myself a captain and, thanks to my power, a businessman. And they can just have a nice little chat on the beach there. So it's Marty up next. Employees will be available for me again. And so what does he want to do? He could sell that, that wagon now and get a money plus some other stuff. Does he want ship parts to finish the ship off? Yes, he's going to exchange that wagon right away because it gets him a gilder, which isn't a bad thing. And he wants... He 
He wants another crane, so he's going to exchange the gold for the crane. And I think he's going to get a sail and a smokestack. Yeah, no money. He's just going to get pieces again. We did already have a crane waiting around, though. Maybe he doesn't want another one. What could he have instead? He could have three... Yeah, he's going to have three money instead of the crane. So he's got a bit spare. And then he's going to take a bonus action. He's got a fair bit of money now. He's going to go for ship tiles. He's going to go for this one. It's got a lifeboat and a crane mount. And it's free. Now he needs... Something to put the smokestack and the sail on. So as much as he would be willing to pay more to get another piece with a life uh, boat on it, he is just going to pay one, I think, for each of these, I mean, so that he can have mounts for the smokestack and sail. So he's going to have to pay two more for those. Still got a couple of guilders left. So all of this uh, slides down now. And we can finish off the ship. So he's got quite a hefty ship there. So, so his base speed is propeller and smokestack, four. He's got those, that's fine. Then he's got a sail and a smokestack, five, six. Oh, actually, he didn't need that extra smokestack, did he? He's got the helmsman. So speed's seven. So that's a bit of an extra thing. So he probably should have done something else instead of getting one of those. Could he have gotten something else? He could have gotten... Yeah, it would have just been a propeller, wouldn't it? Yeah, so I don't think it would have been worth doing. Anyway, let's just stick with, stick with the mistake that I made. Uh, and so his ship just goes off. It's got seven speed. It's got one, two crew members. So nine points now, because it's the speed. Plus a point for each crew member, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. Cranes are worth two each. And then it goes off on its cruise. So a point for every lifeboat. That's three. Two, three. An extra three for, because it's traveled three spaces already. So that's six extra points. Four, five, six, seven. And so another three points there for the three lifeboats again. So that's nine bonus points from the cruise itself. And so the score for Marty's first ship, it took him a couple of extra turns, but his scored 22 points. He moved completely off this tile, so this is out of the game for him. And we need to move his completed ship out of the way. My turn. So, no money available here. And we're kind of evening out the actions. Nothing's really getting left behind, is it? I've got no ship pieces. I've also got no money, though. So I'd have to, I would be limited to what I can have. I can't get a wagon. Marty's taking that off. I could get a new employee. Get a free captain every time I go and get crew. That's not, that's not as exciting. It's, it's, uh, it's okay stacking those things up. It might not be a bad thing though to just get ship tiles and just have the free ones. I just need size five ships, don't I? Four. I can have up to four of them and that's 22 points. Yeah, I'm going to go for ship tiles. And maybe I will be a bit less careful about what I want. I could also get a crane. I don't really care about getting a crane, do I? Have I ever had a crane? So we only have one gilder to spend. I am going to spend that gilder on this piece here because it's got two cabins in it. And so the other two I take need to be free. take a crane mount it would be two points you know having a crane just get this piece it's got nothing extra on it i probably want to wait until i've got some more money and get on with something on i seem to be going for lifeboats it's it's lanterns on my shakedown cruise but unfortunately these pieces don't have lanterns on them probably don't want to double up on crane mounts Yeah, we'll, we'll, get, we'll just get these crane pieces. Maybe I should have waited to do this. It's okay to send one rubbish ship off, isn't it? So, yeah, I just need a bow piece in a future turn. Hopefully I can get that one and get another businessman. So uh, it will be a bit more of a business ship. Marty's turn. So we'll be able to get wagons again now. He... 
he can kind of he can keep looping around here. He doesn't need a new canal tile just yet. Does he want an employee? I've left that open for him. I think he wants an employee. There we go. So he's looking for orange, yellow, or blue employees. Does he want a trader? It's orange. It's a point as well. And it makes gold things more attractive to him. Yeah. He's going to go there. I'll give him his point. And so now he's more incentivized to get wagons and exchange them. And if he exchanges the gold ones for money, now money for gold is rubbish for a couple more times. I think that should have turned one, shouldn't it? You'll have seen it in the subtitles. That should have turned one more. But yeah. Anyway, it's uh, so Marty just got another employee and another two points. Basically, there is no limit on uh, on the points for that one. So it's my turn. I put that one in front and maybe I want a piece of equipment now because it would get me some money. Yeah. Yeah, I can stop Marty getting wagons and stuff. There's a nice gold wagon out there, but I am thinking about myself. I want some money because I have none. And so it's just get a crane, really. I do have crane mounts, though. I want cranes. That's fine. So Marty, he gets off this one. And we are almost at the end of the round here. As soon as an action marker hits that start space, we move on. So I think now that they've been made a bit better for him, does he want to get a wagon? Wagon can also get him elements that he wants for the ship. Or does he get... I think... Hoping that I'm not going to go for wagons, he is going to get crew. And he can move it two spaces for free with his employee. Going to get himself a beautiful propeller. Which is, in fact, the only component that he's got for this upcoming ship. My turn. And you know, I have... I have a wagon there. I could get myself some pieces. I do have a lot of steel though, don't I? I could get myself the extra crane I want. Let's see, what, what do I want here? I want a propeller. Before this ship sails, it needs a bow, obviously, but uh, I want a propeller, a crane, and a smokestack, ideally. Now I don't have any coal, so I can't get a propeller or a smokestack from here. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we'll go for commodities. And so... What do I want then? I don't have a cannon mount, and I'm not gonna have one. There is no bow piece with a cannon mount. It, it, I could have it in the future. Maybe I'd get a soldier. Maybe a sail would be nice to make a future ship faster. Although, let's remember to turn it now. Maybe money is better to have. For the gold, I think... Tempting as it is to say businessman, I am going to grab the missing crane there. And for the two steel, I think I'll have one sail and then two guilders. The sail I don't think is going to fit on this ship, because again, there are no bow pieces that have a sail mount. So that wagon's gone now. Marty's up. And what does he want to do? Unless he gets ship pieces, he's probably going to be able to get some money. And he doesn't want ship pieces, does he? Unless he just wants to send a ship off <laughs> with one speed. He could just do that. Or he could be building up for a future ship. Yeah, he could get things with a load of lanterns on. He's, he's only got two money, is the only thing I would be thinking. I think he's going to get a wagon like his... Plan always was. Gets two money for that, not a bad thing. And he's gonna pay. Now, does he pay? Unfortunately, the real payout for gold is not until two more times on that rondelle. Someone else needs to go up with a wagon and sell it before gold is worth a ridiculous amount. Because then you would absolutely pay two and get that triple gold one up there. I think as it is. He can always do that later. For now, though, he's just going to pay one. 
and grab this double gold one. Oh, and I have gone one turn too far here. Subtitle again. As soon as a tile goes on there, finish your turn, and then this marker comes down, which means we are halfway through the game now. And we have to commit, we have to decide which contracts we are taking into the end game. So, I am definitely not doing ships that are seven or bigger. I've only got two lanterns, so at the moment I've only got two lantern points. This ship's got no lanterns, so I am committing to size five ships. Although I think I'd kind of decided that already. And so for the other one, now it would be easy if you spend more and more actions getting these canals. You know, I can just go on this one, come straight off it onto another one. You've only spent three tiles on there. You can force yourself to do that. You do have to spend more and more actions getting those canal tiles, but I could force that in. But I think, I think the businessman commitment is worth it. I've got four already, which is eight points. I think I'm committing to businessmen. Now, different things on ships. What have I got? I've got a crane. I've got sails, smokestack. I haven't got a captain in the cabin. I've got businessmen. I've got propellers. So I've got five things. So that's six points at the moment. Businessmen are already worth eight. Yeah, I'm sticking with those. So those are my final two contracts, and these are out of the game. Marty. Now, it's not looking great for lifeboats, is it, at all? I've hoovered a couple up, but not really intentionally. I was just grabbing what was there. There is one lifeboat in the entire display. So the lifeboat premise, he's got three. So four points that's worth at the moment. Does he want to push and just get loads of these? Or is he sticking with get more employees? I think he can go for more employees. He's going to go for that one. And then ugh, he's doing rubbish on these ones, though. Propellers means that he's going to do he's going to have to do more and more ships and get propellers for them. The ship he's already got hasn't got a pair of sails, so that one's out. It's a pair of sails and a, a, a crane and a businessman. His first ship got one of those. He's going to go for propellers. He's not doing well for endgame bonuses, I don't think. We can do better for him. I think it's my turn. I've lost track a little bit with that. I think it's my turn. So we move that one in front. And I could get a canal piece, although I really don't need one. Is my ship ready, though? I could, I could get rid of my ship, couldn't I? I can't afford to take a bonus action or get anything extra, which is a bit disappointing because I would love the piece that's got uh, an extra cabin in it. Oh, I wanted a smokestack, didn't I? And a propeller. No, I'm not close to finishing this ship off. Unless I just have it not really score as many points. But it is another size 5 ship. That's the kind of... That's the thing, really. If I want to get four size 5 ships, I probably haven't got time to be dawdling and making them all beautiful. Maybe I just have the ship have one two speed. And it wouldn't get to anything. But I haven't got any lanterns anyway. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to finish this ship. So I only need one piece. It might as well be a free one. But yeah, let's just finish it off with that. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to take that one. Hopefully Marty doesn't have it, and I can have it for the future. So I need two more ship pieces. Now lanterns are going to be useful. And I could, I could always keep the sail off and save it for another ship. it is a point, but it's a point I can save for a better ship. Yeah, I'm going to save the sail and not have it on there at all. The business burn cranes, though, you go for it. So I've had two pieces. They're both free. I'm interested in lanterns. I'm interested in cabins. I'm going to pay one to have this one as well. And yeah, it is wasting my power a little bit, isn't it? I could have two propellers on this thing if I wanted. But yeah, we'll, we'll have the speed in the next ship along, I think. So I need to slide these tiles down, and then we can go on another shakedown cruise. Okay then, so has it got a smokestack and a propeller? Neither of those things. Its speed is one. It is boosted by nothing. Its speed is one. So it is worth one point. Nothing from the shakedown cruise. 
at all. It's with one point. Crew, it's got three of them, so four points. And it's got two cranes, so five, six, seven, eight points. It's been better, hasn't it? That just catches me up to Marty's score for his single ship. But Marty is not looking great for endgame bonuses. I wouldn't know this, of course, but I'm looking pretty good for them, especially if I can churn out two more chips, ships before the end. And some chips, why not? Marty's up next, and so this one comes out, doesn't it? So what does he want? He's got a propeller and nothing. <laughs> so everything, really. He could get a new canal piece, and then he would be right at the back. Hmm. That's the thing to do. Let's see, if he got equipment, it would be a sail. Can't get a propeller. He can get an employee. Oh. Okay, that kind of changes everything. Employee time. It's more points for Marty, and it does help. It always helps having these things, doesn't it? He could even double up on these orange ones and make them worth loads of points. That's an idea. But I don't think he's going to pay. As nice as it would be to get free smokestacks and stuff, oh, that, that's tempting. Maybe, you know, he'd get extra money for steel as well. And it's a point, an opportunity to get more points in the future. Yeah, because the brown one, as nice as it is to get free stuff, that's not in the government contract. Orange, yellow, and blue get Marty the extra points. So you could get the one that lets him put smokestacks on without needing mounts for them. But at the same time, he needs to get those smokestacks. He's just going to move one. He's going to get the one that's extra money for steel, and that's another point. And two more points at the end of the game. So maybe I can get an inkling now that, oh, Marty kind of really wants employees. So it's my turn. I come off there, and Marty probably wants to go there now. And so I could get a canal and some money. Enough money for a bonus action, in fact. But I, yeah, I'm not going to miss the opportunity to get some crew, which you know, Marty wants. He wants propellers and stuff. I want, though, double business, man. Just hanging out on the beach next to the sail. And that's my action, isn't it? Next up, Marty. Is he going to change his wagon? Does he want to sail? Or maybe he wants a canal because it's three spaces behind now. And the thing is, though, he doesn't know what he's doing at all. He's got no, like, pieces at all for this upcoming ship. So it's not like he can go, oh, that canal would be perfect because it's got this and this. I think Marty's going to go for some commodities since he's entered the trading game. And this is a bit better for him now. He's going to sell the steel just for money, because that's three plus one money. Four guilders. He's now got himself, you know, a bonus action. And so he could get himself six more by selling the two gold. Now, Crane, he doesn't know what he, he has to kind of know what he's getting from this stuff. I don't think he's going to get a Crane. He's not particularly bothered about a businessman. Captain would be nice, but... The rondelle is you know, ready for the captain. Okay, he's going to get himself three guilders and a captain. But now, since he's filthy rich, he's going to spend six to get ship parts. Because although that is about to become revealed, I think next time Marty wants to try and go for the wagon and get that triple gold, because coming up next, that could be 15 gold in one action. Yeah. So he's going to take an extra action to take ship parts. And so what does he want? He wants lanterns, kind of. Okay, with that, it would have been good to get a crane, though, if he's getting this. He wants propellers as well, doesn't he? So lantern and propeller seems good to me. He's going to put it all the way back there. That's costing him one. Cannons, he's not as bothered about. Now this piece, it's another Gilder, but it's, you know, a smokestack. Or a, or a sail and a lantern. 
Now, future lanterns cost loads, so I think he's going <laughs> to stop it, stop there with the lantern grabbing. But, you know, life preservers are something as well. So I think his third piece is going to be, you know, he could take or leave having a cannon, but the life preserver could be worth something. And he's not as bothered about the size of his ships as well. He could, uh, they could be massive for all he cares. They could be <laughs> the whole size of the harbour. So we slide these down and refill the ship parts. And yeah, I could, I could be thinking about thwarting Marty's plan. You know, I know he's got those traders. I can see that gold wagon up there. And I can just take something for myself. The alternatives are get a sale or, of course, pay to get something better. But I don't have much money. Getting a piece of canal is not that important to me, but it would earn me four guilders. Oh, Marty shouldn't have this wagon, should he? That's gone. I think... Although if I get in the way and block the wagon for a little bit, he can still do it later. Well, I can get in the way, can't I, and sell my stuff, and then it will have moved past the amazing gold space for him. Yeah, I'm going to get myself a wagon. But I am only going to pay one and have this one that's got a bit of everything on it. So, because I'm going to be exchanging stuff. Marty's up. And now, one, two, three, four, five. In one more turn's time, that's going to be worth you know, another gold for having six spaces in front of it. But neither of us need a canal still is the issue, really. So, yeah, he could go for sales. He wants a smokestack, though, doesn't he? And he doesn't want to pay two to go and get a smokestack. Although, actually, he doesn't need to pay. Okay, let's, uh, let's have those fall as always. So he gets the one movement, but he can have up to two extra movement free from his employee. So there we go. Whiz round, gets himself the smokestack that he wanted, and he's still behind the pack. Makes him such a lucky jack. And he gets three guilders for that. My turn. Let's bring that to the front. I probably want to stop him getting employees. Do I care about employees that are coming out here? Smokestacks out without needing space for them, get extra soldiers. I don't care about getting extra soldiers. I think I would like free smokestacks. I would also like a load of money for taking a canal. Hmm. And I do have to be thinking, I want four ships built to get my full 22 points. I'm going to get an employee, though, partly because I know that Marty just wants to keep churning out employees and getting points for them. Well, I don't know that, do I? I've got an inkling, although I do know that. I'm going to get, I'm going to get a free smokestack every time I get equipment, which costs me a gilder to take that particular one. Marty slides up, and so still, well, that piece is back there. It's uh, stopping that one being worth as much. But does Marty want... He's got a captain, so he doesn't particularly want crew as much. Let's see. He's got the propeller. He's got the smokestack. He could do with a cannon, although he's whizzed past the cannon now. See, I was thinking about maybe he could build another ship at the same time. There are no stern parts out that can have propellers on them, which is a bit bad for Marty's objective of getting loads of propellers on ships in his fleet. Pieces with lanterns are kind of expensive. Maybe... Maybe he doesn't... Maybe he just goes for crew. He can move it extra. He's already got a captain. Maybe he gets himself a soldier. First soldier of the game, in fact. And he could potentially think about, he's got a mount for a cannon, he could maybe get another canal piece, diverge off, and get some points for those combos, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Because he wants points now rather than at the end, because they're probably not really coming at the end. My turn next, isn't it? So, wow, this one could be worth loads. But I can't do any, I, I can take, yeah, I can do something about it. I can take the action now, while it's not worth as much. 
Let's just see when Marty moves that, it's going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spaces in front of it. So it's going to be worth three for having three occupied markets in front of it. Plus, it's going to be worth 6.6 .6 money just to take that action. At the moment, it's only worth four. Do I let that influence me? I probably don't want more ship pieces. I kind of want to sell my wagon, don't I? No, I, I can't let Marty just get six money for taking an action that's pretty decent anyway. I'll take four money for myself for doing it. And what do I want? Another piece with lanterns on it wouldn't be too bad. But if we're paying one, let's have this one, because straight away it's got a crane on it. If I make sure this ship moves a little bit, I can go on here, and then that's a point for every businessman and crane. Okay, Marty, obviously, a little bit peeved that his amazing free money has been taken away from him. He doesn't... He could get ship parts and, yeah, be building two ships at once. Or he can get the wagon that he was thinking about. Yeah, he doesn't think I'm going to go and get another wagon. He's going to go on there and get ship parts. And they could all be for this ship, couldn't they? So he wants somewhere for his... He wants somewhere for his soldiers to go. So he could... As long as he leaves a gap... He could pay one here. And then that's a possibility of another uh, cannon mount. Well, he doesn't really want a cannon mount, does he? Does he just want to finish this ship off? He wants a cannon. How much money has he got? Five. We should be getting two, shouldn't he, for being behind me? I don't think he can take a bonus action. He could take a bonus action and get a cannon. Yeah, maybe he just wants... This one here. And just cheap pieces. Yeah, he'll just take these two, because they're free. They can decide what the other ship's going to be later. Yeah, this would mean that before he took the take ship pieces action, and so for his bonus, he could get equipment, move it for free, and get the cannon that he so desperately wants. And so we're ready for another shakedown cruise. Excited? So he's got a smokestack and a propeller. Base speed four, no other extras. Speed is five, so that's going to be five points. Plus crew, six, seven. Cannon, eight, nine. And then it's speed is five. Oh, actually. Oh, dear. Oh, he's not going to be able to do this just yet. Let's not have him do that extra. Let's not have him do the extra action of getting the, the cannon piece. Because he hasn't got enough canal to have a ship that that's, that's that fast. The helmsman has actually stopped him being able to do this shakedown cruise. Oh, so excited. Then we were going to get another ship done. So I think he'll, he'll still take the same pieces, but he will leave that gap. Yeah. So the ship isn't quite finished yet. My turn. And... So... I can't get any money for actions, so I don't need to be thinking about that. I could sell my stuff. I actually wouldn't mind getting some equipment because... Oh! Perfect. I absolutely want to do that because I would like a crane. You know, we're going towards that space, hopefully, with a crane. And I get a free smokestack. So I absolutely want that. And that's my whole action, isn't it? I can't afford an extra action, so we don't need to think about that. So, Marty. Oh, he's, he's got an employee opportunity there. He could get a blue one. That's... So he could get... Put sails on without space for them, or every two sails are another speed. But I think he is going to get a wagon. He's going to get a gilder for that, but he's going to spend it to get his beautiful triple gold. Then it's my turn. This one goes all the way around, back into the front, and you can see it's coming towards the end. We've gone, we're past the halfway mark, I think. Yeah. 
Definitely. Well, not the halfway of the game, I mean halfway of the second and final round. So I could sell my stuff now. I probably want to do that, don't I? Because, yeah, Marty's probably going to do it. So let's stop him doing it. Although he can take it as a bonus action, can't he? He's got money. Yeah. So it moves along. And yeah, I stop it being on the amazing space for him. So yeah, he should have thought about that. Why weren't you thinking, Marty? And this is a bit of a... This is a bit of a nasty move by me. So I... I haven't got a propeller. So I think with the gold, I want a propeller. Now, the green action is ready to give me a propeller and another businessman, but I can't be sure that that's still going to be there. So I'm going to get... And I can have an extra... I can't have an extra propeller because it hasn't got a mount in the first place, so I'm already using my bonus power to put the first one on there. Second. I could think about getting a sail and maybe hope to get one of those abilities that relate to sales from the employees. I'm not bothered about... Yeah, I don't want just one gilder for it, and I'm not bothered about soldiers and cannons. I'm going to get a sale. So, yeah, that might uh, perk Marty's ears up to take uh, those employees away. And for the gold... Now, cranes need mounts, so... that might not be the best thing to do. More businessmen! Although I haven't got a captain, have I? Yeah, I should get a captain with the third one. Marty's up. So we have a nice, ordered action selection again. He has to take something in the front. And yeah, he doesn't want to let me get one of those sale-related employees. He'd much rather have one for himself. I think he's going to pay one to actually move the rondelle an extra space. And he's going to take the employee that lets him move further on the get an employee action, because that's going to help him double up on these. It's probably a bit late to be exploiting that for money, although, yeah, if he gets that one, you know, it's three more points, and gold is worth two extra. Even on a rubbish space, that makes gold a decent value. Anyway, that was his action. My turn. And I absolutely don't need canals. I am tempted to take canals away so that Marty can't have one. Because he needs them, doesn't he? But I feel like I should do something else. I could get... I could get maybe crew. I would get another propeller. don't really need. But I would get a businessman. Or do I just get some ship tiles and say that this is finished. I do have a bit of money. Because what do I want? I absolutely want the smokestack on there. Propeller. Captain's fine, he doesn't need a cabin. And I've got one cabin for the businessman. Now I want... Yeah, I'm going to go for ship pieces, I think, and call this finished. I could pay one here, and that solves the crane mount and space for the last businessman. That's one. I do want to mount both of my sails. So we're going to have to go for this one, I think. Yeah. And then finally, we need a bow. Do I want to pay two? I don't want to pay my only two money just so my bow has got a lantern on it. And I haven't got another crane to mount it on. So yeah, we'll just take this. So, another finished ship. I'll slide the pieces down, and then we're ready for another shakedown cruise. And so, we have base speed of four. Two sails, so five, six. And nothing extra. <laughs> it was holding for tension there. So, six speed. And that's going to be... Three crew members, so nine points. Ten, eleven, because of the crane. So eleven points and six movement. So one, two, point for every lantern. So that's going to be twelve, thirteen points. Three, four, a point for every spaceship traveled so far. Four, another four points. So that's seventeen points, right? Five, six, 
and a point for every crane and businessman. So we're already at 17. And yes, I did go back and double count. 17, 18, 19, 20 for that one ship. And I, I'm pretty sure I can get one more built. So that puts me on 43 right now. So we need to get rid of both of these pieces now. So we get rid of those used canal pieces and I'm done, aren't I? Yes, that was my action. So it's Marty's turn, not mine. So what's he going to do? Can't do commodities just yet. What is he missing? He wants a cannon. The brown wheel's available. He needs a place to go though, doesn't he? He needs, yeah, he needs a canal. So he's going to get a money for that. He could still. Yeah, he doesn't want ship pieces just yet. So I think he wants this piece because he's got he's got two lanterns. So what if his ship's going to move loads? Where is he on here? I'm not sure what space he was supposed to be on there, whether it's that one or that one. I think he reached the he definitely reached the lifeboat space, didn't he? Because that was his whole plan for his first ship. He's only made one ship so far. Yeah, so where is he? One, two, three, four, five, he wants to move at least. Yeah, he's already got that with the smokestack and the propeller. So he can reach the bonus cannon space. So that's all nice. He's not going to take a bonus action because he still needs to get a cannon and get more ship parts. My turn. And so I've got nothing again. So I probably don't mind getting some crew. So that's two money for me. And I especially don't mind it because it's a propeller and my free businessman. Marty's up. And yeah, time is running out. There are, you do get one more turn at the very end when the piece touches there again. And you are allowed to finish a ship. If you only need one piece to finish a ship, you are allowed to get one piece. But other than that, we are racing towards the end here so we have Marty does want to sell his commodity but he needs a cannon so he's uh, he doesn't get any bonuses there but he's gonna grab the cannon he yeah he doesn't have to pay to move it that far forward he's got that now for that ship my turn I I would like ship pieces of course oh but I can't. I could get employees. Now, getting crew onto ship, yeah, I'm going to get an employee because although time is running out, being able to put employ to be able to put crew on ships without space for them, that opens me up to being able to get stuff. Again, it's it's late in the game to be thinking like that, but uh, yeah, Marty. He doesn't need canal pieces. He needs ship pieces and the space is available. Does he sell his stuff? What would he get? You know, a crane, businessman, captain. He doesn't need those things. That commodity could be a giant waste because I, yeah, I messed him over. No way around it. I definitely did. So I think he's going to get another wagon. And this time... Not going to be able to get a propeller for a future ship. So. I think he wants this one because it's free. Yeah, and he could exchange that potentially for, you know, sail cannon that he needs on there. And think about finishing these two ships before the end. And hopefully I can get something done. Hopefully a five, but I don't know if there's time for that. We'll see, though, because it's my turn. And yeah, I'm definitely I'm ignoring everything else to build ship parts. So the spaces I'm going to be going over, I want to think about I'm not going to get any more canal pieces, probably. Lifeboats and cannons. If I, I don't have any cannons, but uh, I might as well have mounts for them. So I can put two people on without even needing cabins either. So lifeboats. There, that's going to be my bow piece. 
So it's going to have five pieces eventually. Other lifeboats are expensive, and it's on the bow piece. I could get the stern one up there, but if I can get another couple of coins and be able to take a bonus action before the end, that would be the best, really. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that, though. This is my last normal turn. Oh, that's bad. Because if I want a ship that's five big, and I probably do, it's seven points. My last action is going to have to be get ship parts, because I'm only getting three now. But it needs to be five big. So I'm kind of wasting that free ship piece that you can have as well as your final action. And you can choose anything for that final action. You don't use this. So, yeah, my ship isn't going to have a captain. And that's not good. Oh, dear. Has to have a captain. <laughs> so... I couldn't take a different action. So I'm probably not going to get a size 5 ship done. It's probably going to be size 4, because I'm going to have to use my final thing to get an action. A, a captain, and a businessman, though. So I'm not going to have a cannon, so don't even worry about, uh, about that. So, knowing that the ship can't be big enough, and I don't have time to get a smokestack, I've just got a propeller. It's not even going to make it onto that space and get a cannon. Ah! <laughs> the reality of just how close to the end I am just hit me. So... Yeah, I don't think it matters, does it? We might as well have free things then. Marty is going to sell commodities. Yeah, probably actually shouldn't have wasted his time getting another wagon. That was silly. Again, I <laughs> clearly didn't realise just how close we were to the end. He is going to... He's gonna do the gold one, I think. So that he can take... Captain? So we rotate this. He could sell and get... Four, seven, ten money. But he wants, he wants speed and stuff, doesn't he? Uh, that would get him the captain he needs. And he could maybe just shove a businessman on this ship. He's going to sell this one. He's going to get a soldier and a cannon. He then needs to take a bonus action so he can get himself a captain. He moves it for free, but if he wants this ship to go out, and I don't think it, I don't know if it's going to earn anything, basically. So if the ship isn't going to earn anything, why is he worried about getting it out? He'd use a bonus action on something else, like... Yeah, forget that partly finished ship. That was a mistake. He should have just uh, made a massive one. But uh, yeah, his bonus action is going to be to take employees. Unfortunately, the two level-up ones that he needs are in the same space. But he can move there for free because he's got the employee that lets him do that. And he'll take, say, this one. He could even have his bonus action be just, uh, just selling the gold that is now worth a ton. So that's three more points and two at the end of the game. And so, a piece has touched there. We move this to the final countdown. And now we have one final action each. My final action has to be... Oh no, Marty's ruined this for me. It has to be get a crew member. Yeah. Because I need a captain, don't I? I don't have a wagon to be able to sell here. You can't pay for a bonus action here either. Well, Marty needed to do it just. So, I'm going to have to pay... One, two, three to be able to wind that all the way around and get a captain. Should have gotten one earlier. So we've got one money left. Marty has one final action, and it's going to be employees again, I think. It's the only thing that will really get him points, because having more money, selling this, 
I don't think he could sell this and get anything else on this ship. He's only got space for one more tile, and the tile, hopefully, that he gets will fit these two things on it. The only thing that can get him more points at this stage, I think, is more employees. And money is a tiebreaker, but it's not worth points. So I think... So if he takes employees, he moves it one as the standard action. He can move it three extra... Thanks to there, he could pay one, two, three, four more, all of his money, to get that last employee that's basically five more points. I don't know if that's even going to matter. Is it Ugh, let's see. So yeah, he's paying all of his money to get this employee. That is three more points right now. And that's it. That's our final action. So now... After everybody's taken a final action, everybody gets to complete a ship. You can take one piece from the market, paying for it, if you need to. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Marty is not doing that. Whatever he just took. I just realized in describing that you need to pay for the ship tile, that Marty needs money. So he's not going to be doing that. And... So... He was here, wasn't he? For free. So he could he could just get one. He could have just not moved as much. Gotten this one. It's two fewer points, but it's something, isn't it? It's more points than any of the others. So yeah. So he's on 28. So now, <laughs> resuming. I just need a stern piece, and it doesn't matter what I get, because I can put a propeller on anything. Having one with a lifeboat would be nice, but I've only got one money. So I can't afford. So I'll just take the cheapest one. And if there is a tie, yeah, I've got one money. But yeah, Marty's got more than that. So yeah, that is my ship. So let's go on my final shakedown cruise. So the speed of the ship. It's only got a propeller, unfortunately, no smokestack. So it's got speed of one, two. So it moves one, two spaces. And so I get a bonus for every soldier and cannon. That's nothing. So at the moment, speed is two. It's got no equipment. It's got two crew, four points. That's a little bit of a, a little bit of a pathetic ending to my ship, and it's not even a size five ship. But hey, that's the way it goes, isn't it? Sometimes Marty, on the other hand, thought this through, saved two money to buy the perfect piece, and he can put a little soldier in the soldier hut, a little cannon on the cannon stand, and he is ready to roll. So. He's got smokestack and propeller. This is only his second ship, by the way. <laughs> I don't know what I've been doing. I've been getting employees and stuff for it. Uh, four. Speed four. And then one from the helmsman. Speed five. So let's have him go. One, two, three, four, five. So five points for the speed. Point for every lantern. Six, seven. Point for every soldier or cannon. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Looking good, isn't it? So eleven. Crew. 12, 13, 14. Equipment, 16, 18 points for that ship. Brilliant. And so Marty is one point behind me. So it is going to be down to these final employee, not employees, the final government contracts. So, and so let's do mine then. So businessmen, basically two points for each, apart from the first one. So... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, minus the first one, so that's 12 points. And then size 5 ships, I've got 3 of those, so that's 15 points. So yeah, Monty's got a lot of catching up to do really, and I don't think he's done it. So propellers, Monty only managed to get 2 ships out, although to be fair, no other propeller mounts came out. Uh, so uh, just 6 points on that one. So he needs a lot of points. He needs 22 points on these employees. I don't think he's got it. He's, done, he's, got, he's come close there. So employees, two points each. He's, all of them are the right colours. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Not enough, unfortunately. He needed a lot more employees, but probably getting another ship out wouldn't have been a bad idea. So at the end of that, I got 
what is it? It's uh, 50 zero going around, so it's 74 to 66. So still fairly close. Uh, neither of them particularly good scores, but hey, I'm playing for two people at once here. Give me a break. I hope you enjoyed that, though. I hope that gave you some idea of uh, what Shipyard is like to play and why I really love it so much. But hey, that's, uh, that's review time, isn't it? First impressions video. That's there. It's got my face in it and everything. If you want to see a video that YouTube has deemed best for viewer, it's from my channel though, so it's probably going to be pretty good, right? You've got to have some kind of arrogance at the end of a YouTube video, haven't you? Maybe not. Anyway, don't go for longer than 20 seconds. The boxes will go away. Thank you for watching this. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Done. Bye, everyone.